In this video, we are going to learn how you can send Microsoft Outlook emails on Google Forms submission. So let's take an example that you are a business owner who has created a form using Google Forms and you have shared that form with your customers to get the form filled. Now you want that whenever any of your customer fills the form, automatically a mail should be sent to the customer via your Outlook account. But here, we will be integrating Google Forms with Microsoft Office or Microsoft Outlook because there is no direct connection between these applications. So here, your trigger application would be Google Forms and your action application will be Microsoft Office 365. So how you can integrate and how you can set up this automation? For that, you need to come to my screen. So welcome to my screen. Here, let us type P-A-B-B-L-Y, Pabli.com in our browser. This is the website of Pabli. Here we have to come to products and click on Pabli Connect. This is the landing page of Pabli Connect. As you are the first time user, you have to click on sign up for free button and you can create your own account in just two minutes and you are going to get free tasks every month. If you are already a user of Pabli Connect, simply click on sign in. In the all apps section, come to Pabli Connect and click on access now. This is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here we have to create a workflow. For that, come to this plus sign and click on create workflow. Now here we have to give a name to the workflow. So let us give the name as Google Forms to Microsoft Outlook integration. Here you can give the workflow name as per your requirement and simply click on create. Now we can see a trigger window and an action window. So Pabli Connect works on the concept of trigger and action. Trigger means when this happens, action means do this. So in this particular use case, we want to send emails from our Microsoft Outlook account whenever a new Google form is submitted by the user or your customer. For, so first we have to create an integration between Google Forms and Pabli Connect. So simply open this trigger window and here choose the application name as Google Forms. Select the trigger event as new response received. Now we can see a webhook URL and some instructions. So by following these instructions, you can set up the webhook in your Google Forms. So here let us read the instructions, a few of them. Google Forms responses are collected in Google Sheets. So follow the below steps in order to get the new response. Go to the form on which you want to take the submission and make the last question as required for the trigger. So I'll just take you to my Google Form. This is the Google Form which I have created that is customer support form where I'm asking the name email address and the contact number of the customer along with the issue name and the issue description. So here we have to make the last question required for the trigger. Okay. So whenever this form will be filled and this particular field will be filled, the details will be captured in Pabli Connect. Okay. Now we have to create an integration between this particular Google form and Pabli Connect. For that, come to the responses tab and here we can see we have zero responses. So first of all, we are going to capture the response over here. For capturing a response, click on this I button, preview. And here we are going to fill up the details. So let us give the customer name as demo name. Let's give the email address as demo at the rate pablitudes.com. And here I'll just enter the contact number. Okay, here we have to give the issue name. So let us give it as equid trigger issue. So I'm just entering a random issue name over here and here I'll be entering the issue description. Equate trigger, new order, not capturing the response. And now let's click on submit. Your response has been recorded. So the form has been filled. Now let's move back to Pabli Connect. Okay, and here we have to just capture the response. But before that, I'll just take you to the form once again. And here in the responses tab, we can see we have received one response. That is demo name response over here. Now to create an integration between Google Form and Pabli Connect, we are just going to click on this three dots and click on select response destination. So the Google Form responses are collected in Google Sheets. Now it is asking us create a new spreadsheet or you want to select the existing spreadsheet. So I want to create a new spreadsheet and the name would be customer support form responses. If you want to change the name of the spreadsheet, you can just change it from here. And let's click on create. Linking to spreadsheet. Spreadsheet is linked. Okay, now we are going to click on this green sign, View Responses in Sheets. Okay, and here we can see that the response is collected in the Google Sheet over here. 
The Google Sheet name is Customer Support Form Responses. Here we can find uh, the sheet name as Form Responses 1. And here we have collected the details that is the timestamp, the date and time at which the customer has filled the form, the name of the customer, his email address, the contact number, issue as equit trigger issue and the issue description. So now we are going to create an integration between this particular Google Sheet and Pabli Connect. For that, come to Extensions, click on Add-ons and click on Get Add-ons. Now it will take us to Google Workspace Marketplace. Here we have to search for Pabli Connect Webhooks. Now you have to install Pabli Connect Webhooks on your system. As you can see that it is already installed on my system, I am just going to close this window. But remember, after installing Pabli Connect Webhooks on your system, you have to refresh your Google Sheet. I repeat, after installing Pabli Connect Webhooks on your system, you have to refresh your Google Sheet. Now again, we have to come to Extensions and this time click on Pabli Connect Webhooks and click on Initial Setup. Now here it is asking for the Webhook URL and the Trigger column. So here we have to paste the Webhook URL that we have seen in Pabli Connect. So let's move to Pabli Connect. From here, I'll be just copying this webhook URL and I'll be pasting the same over here. Okay. Now here it is asking for the trigger column. The trigger column will be your final data column on which if the data is added, the whole of that row data will be sent to the webhook URL. So here you can see that I have the data from column A till column F. So here my trigger column will be column F. So let's say if you have the data till column H and you want the data to be captured till column H, then your trigger column will be column H over here. Okay. Now let's click on send test. Test data sent successfully. Okay. And now let's click on submit. Now again, we have to come to extensions, Pabli Connect Webhooks and click on send on event option. So why we are selecting this option just because next time whenever the form will be filled and whenever the data will be captured in this particular Google Sheet, Pabli Connect is going to capture the data automatically. We don't have to link the data again and again. So make sure you have a tick mark on the send on event option. Okay, now let's move back to Pabli Connect. And here we can see the responses received and all the details related to the form submission are captured over here. We can find the same timestamp, name as demo name, email address of the customer, the contact number, issue, issue description, spreadsheet name, spreadsheet ID, sheet name and the sheet ID. So all the details are captured. Now we want to send a mail to this particular customer demo name on this particular email address. Okay. And the mail would be sent from our Microsoft Outlook account. So here come to this action step and choose the application name as Microsoft Outlook. So here we have to select Microsoft Office 365 for integrating Microsoft Outlook. Okay. Now here we have to select the action event as sent mail. So send an email from your Outlook account. Click on connect. Now here we have to click on add new connection and click on connect with Microsoft Office 365. Now here it is asking me to choose an account. So I'm just selecting my account from here. From which account I want to send the mails. So let's scroll down and here we have to give the access. So let's click on yes. Authorization successful. And now Microsoft Office account is connected to Pabli Connect. Now here it is asking for the subject. Enter subject of the mail. So what will be the subject of the mail? So here I'll be entering the subject as thank you for contacting Pabli Connect. Okay. Now here it is asking for the content type. So here the content type will be plain text only. Now it is asking for the body content. What should be the message you want to send in the mail? So here I have added a random content. Hello. Here after hello, I'll be adding the name of the customer. I am sorry to hear you're having trouble with our platform. I have addressed your. So here we'll be adding the issue description or the issue title with our technical support team. They will be reaching out soon. Let me know if I can help you with anything else in the meantime. Thank you for your patience. Regards, Pabli team. So here we have to map the customer name that we have got from our trigger response over here. Okay. So we will be mapping the name for mapping. Simply click it over here. Okay. And I'll just take the cursor over here after hello and come to Google forms. And here let us click uh, select the name that is demo name of the customer. And here I have addressed your issue. So we'll be mapping the issue also that is equit trigger issue. So in this way, the message will be delivered to the customer via mail. Okay. Now here it is asking for the recipient mail address. 
to whom you want to send this particular mail. So we have already got the mail from our trigger response. So here we have to map the email address of the customer. So again, come to Google Forms and let us map the email address. And now let's click on save and send test request. Okay, and here we can see that the response is received. It means the mail has been sent to the customer. So first I'm going to check my Outlook account and we'll be checking the, whether the mail has been sent from our Outlook account or not. Okay, let's move to the send items option. Okay, and here we can see that a new mail has been sent. Hello, demo name. I'm sorry to hear you're having troubles with our platform. I have addressed your equit trigger issue with our technical support team. They'll be reaching out soon. So here you can see that the same mail has been sent to the customer and the customer mail address is demo at pablitudes.com. Okay, and now let us check the email address of the customer also. Okay, and here we have got a new mail. Thank you for contacting Pabli Connect. This was the subject line. And here we can see that the same message is sent to the customer also. And in this way, our integration is working fine. Let's move back to Pabli Connect and let us save this workflow first. Data saved successfully. Okay, now we are going to check this in the real time that whether our integration is actually working fine or not. For that, I'll move to the uh, form once again. Okay, and here we are going to just submit another response on the name of some other customer. So here I'll be giving the name as admin name. Let's give the email as admin at the rate pablitudes.com. Let's enter the contact number. Let's give the issue as GitHub issue this time. And let's enter the issue description that GitHub trigger new issue is not capturing the response. Now let's click on submit. Your response has been recorded. So the form has been filled. Now first let us check our Outlook account. We have to again refresh it. Okay, and here we can see that a new mail has been sent to admin at pablitudes.com. Here we can find the mail address. Okay, and here we have got the same message. Only the name of the customer is changed. That is admin name. And here the issue is changed as GitHub issue. Okay, else the message is same. Now let us check the email address of the customer also. So I have uh, shared the message over here and we have received another message. Thank you for uh, contacting Public Connect. This was the subject line. And here we can see that the same mail has been sent to the customer also. Hello, admin name. And I have addressed your GitHub issues. So in this way, our integration is perfectly working fine. So let's move back to Public Connect. And I'll just minimize all these windows and let us see in a nutshell whatever we have done till now. So first we have created an integration between Google Form and Pabli Connect so that whenever the form is filled automatically the cap details are captured in Pabli Connect and then using those details we have sent a mail from our Microsoft Outlook account. And in this way we have learned that how we can create an integration between Google Forms and Microsoft Outlook using Pabli Connect. Thank you. So not just these software applications, you can integrate a ton of applications and automate your business using Pabli Connect. In case of any queries, you can visit our Pabli forum. To check the pricing details of Pabli Connect, you can visit this particular URL. Also, the link of Pabli Connect and this workflow is available in the description box. You can clone the same workflow into your account directly. If you really like this video, please comment, share and subscribe. Thank you everyone.